Hey everyone, this is Charlie from Crypto Wall Street. Today I'm going to show the ones of you who are the very fresh beginners to cryptocurrency investing how it works. So more of the, the concept of how to understand the investing and what to be aware of and where to start. Uh, some people ask me to do a video like that, so I am providing that right now. So first of all, to understand cryptocurrency world, you know that it's simply an online currency. And the online currencies are, are all shown here on coinmarketcap.com. So there are other websites where you can see the, the uh, let me go to the front page, where you can see the all the different currencies as well. But coinmarketcap is one of the good websites to see all of them. Okay, so you go to coinmarketcap.com and up here in the left-hand corner, you can see that right now there are 1,384 different cryptocurrencies available. And they're all traded on 7,542 different exchanges. So when someone describes the cryptocurrency world as decentralized, these, the word decentralized absolutely should be in bold, underlined, highlighted, um, capitalized, and made with big, because it is definitely very decentralized, as you see here. So in here, you have lots of information. You also have the market cap, which is the market capitalization. In other words, that's the total market value of all the cryptocurrencies. And that's right now $700, $779 billion. And here you can see the trading volume uh, in dollars over the last 24 hours. And the last one here, you can see how big a portion the Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin makes up of the total value of the market. And that being said, you simply just uh, dig in here. You uh, scroll down here and you see all the different cryptocurrencies that are available here. They, right now they are listed by market cap. So the, the cryptocurrency with the biggest market capitalization is shown first here, but you can change that with all the, uh, the different columns up here, how you want it. You can also search for specific uh, cryptocurrencies up here. So for example, if you want to go to uh, to Ripple, you type in the ticker name for, ticker symbol, excuse me, for Ripple, which is XRP. And whoop, you go in here, you can do that for all the cryptocurrencies. Uh, so in here you see the current price per coin. So right now this uh, Ripple coin is traded at three dollars and eighteen cents in measured in U.S. dollars. Here you see the 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 current change in it. So it's definitely it's it's like watching a stock actually. Right here you see the market cap, the volume last twenty four hours, and the total supply as well. Uh, he, over here you have links to a number of different things. Uh, the most important thing for you to be aware of is that there's a link to the website here. And there you can get more information about the coin you're looking at. Moving on here, going down, you see you have charts where you can see the price development from when the coin was uh, published from the ICO. And you can do it for one day, seven days, one month, three months, one year, year to date, or all the time. And you can even customize it by doing this and you'll get the specific dates you want. You can also do that up here. Uh, if you want to figure out where do I buy this coin, you click on markets. And then you go down and here, all the different markets, or in other words, exchanges are shown where you can buy, um, in this case, Ripple. And you see this one has a lot of different places where you can buy that. There's 93 different places. That's not always the case. Sometimes there's only one place or two places. Uh, for the most time, there are a number of places you can buy that. Here you see the social, uh, social proof from the coin when people are talking about it. Uh, there's links from... Reddit as well for different threats. So take a look at that too. Tools, there's not too much in there for you. Historical data, I use that sometimes too. It's simply the highs and lows, open and close for uh, all the day, the different days. Um, it's good sometimes to take a look at too. So coinmarketcap.com is your first page to go into, get familiar with it, look at the different coins, look at the how fast things move up and down here. And to give you a little indicator of how fast things move here, you see that everything is measured per hour, 24 hours, and seven days. But by fact that every, that, that they measured in per hour really tells us how fast things move here and also per 24 hours. Uh, so that's interesting for sure. So if you want to start buying some of these coins in here, uh, there are a number of ways to do that. First of all, you got to find a provider where you can get your fiat money and fiat money is simply your old money as some people call it it's money that are in our traditional world so that could be US dollars um, Japanese yen or uh, Canadian dollars Danish crowns or whatever it is you have and exchange that into uh, some of these cryptocurrencies here now as of now you gotta start buying uh, there are four main coins you have to buy 
one of them to get started. It's either Bitcoin, which is this one. Uh, it's Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and I forgot the last one. I don't know why that is. Let's see, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, or Ethereum, excuse me, it's right here. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, or Litecoin. You gotta start buying one of those four initially. Why is that? Because you gotta ha because those are the coins that you trade for all the other coins. So so see that those four as the four mother or main coins you gotta start having. And you can do that at different places. Uh, the place I use that I'm convenient with is this place called Coinbase. There's also another website called GDAX. Do that as well in here. It's simply an exchange where you take your credit card with whatever money you have on there. I'll close that. And then you buy uh, one of the four main coins, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, or Litecoin. So I'll, I'll definitely post a link to Coinbase below this video so you can get started. And you simply just open an account, get verified. You buy Ethereum. I would prefer that for a number of reasons. Uh, look at one of my other videos as well and you'll see why. But to sum it up very quick, it's faster to transfer. It's cheaper as well. If you buy Bitcoin, as you probably heard a lot about, it's the most branded coin, but it's expensive in fees. So Ethereum is a very good place to start. So buy Ethereum for whatever money you want to start investing, and then you are started. Now you have your money on Coinbase. Sometimes you can transfer money from Coinbase directly into, let's see, let's say you want to buy this Ripple coin here, um, and you go to markets. And you will say, okay, I want to buy this from Bittrex. You click on Bittrex. And you go to the website here. Sometimes you can transfer your money directly, or excuse me, your 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 Ether or whatever coin you bought in here directly to this page here, which is the exchange to buy the Ripple that you wanted to buy. Other times you have to go through another wallet. Um, in this case, you would go to my Ether wallet it's right there. So how it works is that you go to Coinbase, exchange your fiat money, your old money, to Ethereum. Send your Ethereum from Coinbase to, uh, when this starts showing a bit in a second, my Ether wallet. You open an account there, and then you would transfer the money from your Ether wallet into Bittrex. And here you would actually exchange your Ethereum coin to, um, to your Ripple coin. So... You may think initially this is complicated. It's not once you get, uh, once you understand it, like everything else, you know, every beginning is hard. Here it is. Yeah, so you create an account in here and uh, then you send your money from here to, to Bittrex. Sometimes you can send your money directly from Coinbase to this exchange. Other uh, times you can't. You have to figure that out. But this is simply to give you the concept of how you start investing in cryptocurrencies. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. There's contact information below this video. Also, if you want to stay current on um, initial coin offerings, market analysis, and other uh, important uh, data, and also strategies, investing tips, etc., hot coins for the month, uh, sign up for my free investment report. There's a link below this video as well. And with that being said, I wish you all a good day.